in this video we are going to discuss about data independence in dbms first let's see what is data independence the ability to change the schema at one level without changing the schema at next higher levels is called as data independence so we can change the schema at one level without changing the schema yet its next higher levels is called as data independence we have two types of data independence is there first one is physical data independence second one is logical data independence so before discussing about physical data independence and logical data independence let us see the schemas mainly here we have three schemas are there the first one is view schema and our external schema or view level or we can call as external level so this is the highest level so in in middle we have conceptual schema which can also be called as logical schema or logical level so this is the lowest level uh, physical schema or internal schema or physical level or internal level Uh, next we have hard disk database is stored in the hard disk so first let us see what is the advantage of each and every schema and then we will discuss uh, these two independence so first one is physical schema physical schema specifies how the data is stored generally the data is stored either in hard disk or magnetic tape uh, in order to store data in the database several techniques are used like uh, we have b trees b plus trees hashing so by using those approaches the data will be stored in the database the data will be stored in the uh, secondary storage it may be either hard disk or magnetic tape in the olden days we use just magnetic tape but now we days we are using hard disk only and the second one is logical schema or logical level so this is called as conceptual schema logical schema mainly describes the structure of the database so logical schema mainly describes structure of the database Stru describes structure of the database so before creating the database first we have to create the structure if you take the example of construction of house before building the house we have to design a plan that is called as blueprint according to the blueprint we will build the house likewise according to the structure of the database the corresponding database will be created database or tables will be created uh, here logical schema mainly specifies several things such as what is relation name relation name is nothing but uh, table name both are same only in rdbms table name and what are the fields so fields can also be called as columns and data types data types and uh, constraints so a conceptual schema or logical schema mainly describes these th these uh, things what is the relation name or table name fields column names and what is the data type used for each and every field and the possible constraints we have several constraints like uh, primary key foreign key candidate key uh, unique Uh, not all several constraints are there so several constraints will be imposed on the uh, uh, columns so this is about what is what is logical schema logical schema defines structure of the database and the and the top one is what view schema or excel schema so it is mainly useful in order to show the information to the user here we have uh, several views are there here the view is not common for all the users let here we have three views are there let the first view is nothing but uh, student view let the second view is nothing but faculty view okay uh, if you take the example of any college website so after the student entered uh, his faculty his uh, id student id or registration number and password then some home page will gets displayed so student view mainly contains uh, uh, student uh, attendance as well as student mocks 
various uh, after faculty entered uh, his details like faculty id and password then faculty view will be displayed faculty view mainly contains uh, his salary information and he can apply the leaves leaves in that view and he can post the mocks he can post the attendance in faculty view so the view will be different from one person to the another person one user to the another user in order to display this view we have to write the application programs so this is about uh, different types of schemas now let us see about what is physical data independence physical data independence means the ability to change the physical schema without changing without changing its higher level schemas such as conceptual schema and view schema <coughs> so what is the definition for physical schema the ability to change physical schema without changing conceptual schema and view schema let us see some examples for the physical schema let us assume that we are using hdd hard disk drive hard disk drive we can replace that hdd with sdd we know that sdds are very very uh, faster so soft disk drive okay so we can replace sdd with hdd without <coughs> changing the schema of conceptual schema and with, without changing view schema so this is the best example so what is the best example we can replace sdd with <coughs> hdd without changing logical schema and view schema let us take the example of a file we can create a new file without changing conceptual schema and view schema <coughs> so that is about what is physical data independence now let us see the second one that is logical data independence so logical means this view so we can change logical schema or conceptual schema without changing its higher level that is view schema so we can change logical schema without changing its higher level schema that is view schema uh, here in a, in view schema we have to write the application programs in order to display view to the users we have to write the application programs application programs means the programs which are developed by the developer generally in order to develop the application programs we use c c++ java c sharp various programming languages uh, mainly we use uh, two programming languages in order to develop the application programs they are java and c sharp c sharp dot net in java we use uh, jdbc concept java database connectivity concept in order to develop the application programs whereas in c sharp we we use adio dot net activex data objects <coughs> in order to develop the application programs so application programs are mainly useful in order to interact with the database so we can perform select operation insert operation delete operation update operation uh, with the help of these application programs only so that is the need of the application programs here we can change the conceptual schema <coughs> without changing the application program so what is lo logical schema logical schema means the ability to change the logical schema without changing <coughs> the view schema or external schema so here what is view schema view schema means here we are writing the application programs okay so here we can the best examples here are we can add a new attribute to the corresponding structure schema or we can delete <laughs> an attribute we can add an attribute or we can delete an attribute without changing the application program so this is the best example for the this logical schema uh, logical data independence so this is about what is physical data independence and what is logical data independence so the best example for the logical data independence is we can add an attribute or we can remove an attribute uh, from the corresponding database Uh, without making any modifications on the application program so physical data independence means the ability to change physical schema without changing its high level schemas such as logical schema and view schema whereas logical data independence means the ability to change 
logical schema without changing its higher level schema that is view schema or application program. Data independence in DBMS. 